Hi there, this is my business profile presentation. Uh, my business was John Deere. So the company's leader is currently John C. May. He became the chairman of the board of directors and chief executive officer on November 4th, 2019. A leader displays leadership traits. Uh, he leads from experience. This guy has worked his way up to the top. He, his resume is unbelievable. He has done so many things to work his way up to the very top. He's got great traits of speaking, uh, leadership. Uh, just how he leads by example and everything, just unbelievable. Um, one of his big things right now of what he is leading, uh, he's focused on the execution of the company's smart and in industrial uh, strategy. <coughs> Under his leadership, the company's market capitalization has been more than doubled, exceeding a hundred billion dollars for the first time ever. Uh, World leader in providing advanced products, technology, and services for customers whose work is revolutionary agriculture and construction. So that's basically what John Deere does and what his job is to help provide and lead. Uh, his leadership style. So he's a transition, transactional leadership. Uh, so one of the ways I Notice that he's a transactional leadership was because of how well he's been doing financially for the company, how he's always been able to push them, even whenever they're not expected to do good. He's found ways to encourage and push and just get everyone to get work together to do great. So he made better profit than, uh, was ever expected during a very tough year because he changed the focus of the company from instead of the brand new really big shiny tractors he really pushed on the smaller items because uh how he mentioned because it's financially tough in the farmers right now they're not going to be spending a lot of big major money on brand new shiny machines they'll help more often they're going to focus on their small stuff to keep them running and save as much profit as they can, so <clears throat> they really pushed uh, their small products, like some of the pictures down here at the bottom right corner. Uh, he also has reward power. I've noticed he's really good at being able to motivate others. Uh, not in a bad way, he's really good at pushing them to do their best, basically. Uh, he also is really good in with emotional intelligence. So, like how I said, he's just he's done it all. So, whenever he joined in 1997, he became part of the senior management team. In 2012, was president, of agricultural solutions, and chief information officer. Last year, he was named president, worldwide agricultural agriculture and turf division, with responsibility for the American and Americas and Australia, the global harvesting, turf, and utility and crop care platforms and intelligent solutions group. This guy has pretty much done it all. Uh, so, emotionalize the amount of people he has to deal with, he has to be able to read emotions, uh, keep his own emotions under control. He's got to know everyone's unique thing that makes him them no matter where they're from in the world uh with their culture and everything so like how it mentioned tons for the americas and australia the global harvesting so john deere is all over the world so he's got to be able to work with all of that the company's overall environmental and social score uh in his industry group they rank uh, 12th out of 549, but in the global universe, they rank 2017 out of 15,233. Uh, they rank 2,917 because of 
uh, how good their overall score is with overall score of 82.5, environmental score 82, and social score of 87.8. They have such high scores because throughout the years, uh, they switched to over 50% renewable electricity, reducing greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, in 2022, they helped farmers reduce herbicide use by more than two-thirds with the revolutionary seed and spray ultimate. So that really helped. Uh, they conserved 7.4 million gallons of water in Mexico since 2017, and they nurtured a biodiverse pollinator plot in North Carolina. So they're pushing boundaries of anything they can do to help uh, the environment in total. They don't really care about their overall score. They just want what's best for the farmers and just to help with all that. Uh, leaders source of power so if John Deere their power is their locations they are everywhere uh, they have more than 9,000 service locations uh, that help keep your equipment running and going strong and that's just in the United States so uh, if say you have a John Deere tractor something breaks on it They'll come out and fix it for you. You can go to them and get the parts you need. Uh, with production, they manufacture parts all over the world also. So, <coughs> uh, in the United States alone, uh, in Georgia, they produce compact utility and utility tractors. In Iowa, they do ag tractors. Tennessee, lawn and garden tractors. And Wisconsin, lawn and garden tractors. Uh... The company's vision, mission, vision, mission, and values. Uh, the vision is helping people thrive, discover our positive impact on people and the planet. Their mission uh, to conduct business social order life, running for the people who trust us and a planet that sustains us. We create intelligence, connected machines that enable lives to leap forward. Uh, their values. They really value, value integrity, quality, commitment, and innovation. So they're trying to talk about other offices offices and operation locations. Like I said, they are all over the world. But their main headquarters is uh, in Illinois. Uh, the actual address is 1 John Deere, PI, Miley, Illinois, 61265. Alright, so now for their dealerships. They have 2,173 dealerships in the United States alone. That's not counting all the ones across the world, but there was so many I was able to count them. Uh, so for their factories, offices, and other factory locations, some of their main noticeable ones, uh, Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Chile, China, Finland, France, Great, France, Germany, India, Israel, Italy, Luxembourg, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Poland, Russia, Singapore, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Thailand, Turkey, Ukraine, United Kingdom, and that's just the surface. There is there are dozens, probably close to hundreds more of locations just for John Deere. Uh, so they do have ten office and retail locations throughout the U.S. Uh, I didn't quite, wasn't quite able to find where all 10 are, but there are 10 office and retail locations. That's not counting just normal office or normal retail locations, just a combination. So they're really big locations. Uh, and then in total, they have 82,000 employees over three, that 30 plus countries all over the world. Uh, and then in Texas, I found out they have, Texas is where they have their most locations at. So Texas, they have 155 dealerships in Texas, which makes up of 7% of all John Deere dealerships in the U.S. And there's like around 2,000. <clears> so diversity of employees information. Uh, so one of their slogans is, we run together. So, one of the things I found was the world's counting on us to feed billions of people and build 
vital infrastructure in villages, towns, and megacities. We believe by strengthening the divide the diversity in our works workforce, we can give everyone their chance to leap forward. That's why we celebrate diversity, champion equality, and promote inclusiveness so everyone so every employee can make the greatness impact as their true selves. True self. Uh, this powerful purpose is our promise to human to humankind that we will dream, design, and deliver breakthrough products that sustain our world for generations to come. So that's a little bit of their diversity. Uh, what they kind of promote and all that, and then what their kind of goal is. Basically, their biggest goal is to sustain our world for generations to come. And here are my reference slides. Thank you.